Hello and welcome to Airtricity League TV. I'm Nicola McGeady and joining us this weekend is a man who did particularly well last week. We should have heavier wallets as well. So let's see if we can stay in our good books. It's Leon Blanche. Well, Bowes suffered a home defeat last time out to St. Pat's, so they'll be feeling their confidence will be heavily dented after that. But they're playing a side that I think they're more than capable of beating, that's UCD. Yeah, it was a, it was a surprise. Pat's beat Bowes at Dalyman for the first time mm. in, I think, three years. Yeah. So that would have dented their confidence. You are right. But this is a good game to bounce back and try and get back to winning ways. And they want to stay in touch, Bohemians, with the top two sides, Sligo and Rovers, in the table. So they're 7 4 on. UCD at 9-2. UCD were very disappointing last week against Dundalk. I thought it would have been a good mm. opportunity for them to attack Dundalk after Dundalk lost the um, Satanta Cup final, but yeah. that didn't happen. So I'm going to go for Bowes here at 4-7. to seven. If you want to back the draw, it's 12-5. to five. I think that's the best possible outcome UCD could hope for, but I don't think they're going to get anything from Dalyman. Bowes to win, 7-4 on. OK, well, the next game was a bit of a surprise last week with Bray Wanderers. They equalised with Derry City. Nobody's seen that coming. And um, This week, they're in their own backyard against Shamrock Rovers, the team who are unstoppable, flying high at the top of the table. Shamrock Rovers are going to walk this one? Um, I'm, no, I'm going to disagree with you. Um, mm. Bray beat Rovers at Tala earlier on in the season. Um, Rovers are 4-6. to six. It's short enough if you want to fancy an odds-on team. Bray are 7-2 to two and the draw here are 12-5. to five. I think Bray have done remarkably well. As you said last week, they cost us our treble. They got a great draw away to Derry. Um, and I think they can, they can get a result against Rovers. Whether they can beat them again for two times in the league would be great for the league. It would bring everybody that bit closer to Rovers. But I'm going to go the draw here at 12-5. to five. I think at the Carlisle grounds, they're very solid. Pat Devlin has done a remarkable job. I mean, he's a genius of a manager. He's been in the game so long. And I just think 12-5 to 5 offers greater value than trying to back mm -hmm. Rovers at 6-4 to 4 on away from home. Rovers do have attacking options. Twig was back on the mark last week, scoring two. So they will be full of confidence. But this Bray side are not afraid of anybody. Dundalk versus Derry City is up next. The Lily Whites are up against a team, as we've seen, they drew last week. Dundalk will be full of confidence now after bouncing back from their Satanta Cup defeat and beating UCD away from home. But they haven't been very consistent this season. Can they start to get a winning streak on the go? Yeah, I think this is the thing that Ian Foster will be hoping from his side now is a good win, as you said last week, away to UCD. A difficult game against Derry at home, um, back to Thursday nights in Oriel Park. Mm. But Dundalk are this type of side that I feel if they get their best 11 out every week, they can compete against the top teams in the division. They do have a couple of injuries, but the young kid, his name escapes me, he came in last week and scored two goals for Dundalk. So he'll start. And I think there'll be a big crowd at Oriel Park. It's a very tightly uh, contest in terms of betting. It's 7-5 Dundalk, 8-5 Derry. And 11 to 5 to draw. Um, the Dock are actually unbeaten in seven league games. So they're on a good run, but they've drawn three and won four. Derry, big slip up last week at home to Bray. I'm actually just going to give this one to the Dock, but only so slightly. I, I, I really feel this is a very difficult game to go with. I was going to go to draw, but I'm not. I'm going to stick with the home side. 7 to 5 should claim three points. OK, well, there seems to be a lot of tight contests in the batting this week. The next game, well, it's the two rock-bottom <laughs> clubs. May not, it's not going to be the most exciting game no. to be observing between Galway United and Drogheda United. No harm or offence to the fans, but really they're struggling to pick up the points. Could this be a stalemate? It certainly could be a draw, no doubt about it, Nicola. 21-10 to 10 the draw, 11-5 to 5, Drogheda if you fancy them to get an away win, and Galway at home at 11-10. to 10. Both of these sides have lost eight games in a row. They were both beaten 3-0 last week. Sligo beat Galway. Uh, Rovers beat Drogheda. So it's hard to make a case for either team in terms of winning this game. So I'm just going to sit on the fence on this one and go 21-10 to the draw. You wouldn't know how the bottom two teams will play against each other. Drogheda, on occasion this year, have made it hard for some teams. They nearly got a point against them, Dock at home. Um, I think they nearly got a point against Bowes at one stage as well. So That nearly keeps coming in. It does keep coming back. But I think, unfortunately for them, they changed their manager just before the league started. It completely upset the whole running of the club and I think a draw here would be probably um, a point shared but both of them are going to get relegated. This is to see who finishes last between these two sides. 
Okay, and last but not least, it's probably the most exciting game of the week between St. Pat's and Sligo Rovers, and we, the bookies, cannot separate them at no. six to four apiece. But Leon, I'm going to ask you to do that for us and pick a winner. Yeah, well, it's very tough here because you've got two sides, as you rightly said, are in great form. Sligo in second place, Pat's got that big, big monkey off their back beating Bowes away from home. Mm. They're only six points off the top, so they are still right in this league. Um, Kavanagh, who many people said Pete Mahan was taking a big chance when he signed him from Waterford, but he has delivered. I think he's got six goals in eight games. And then flip it over to Sligo and you're looking at Doyle, who's banging in goals for fun. So it's going to be, I think this is going to be a high-scoring game. I think there's going to be plenty of chances. Yeah. Six to four, your pick. You said it. 11 to five, the draw. God, I've never tipped up so many draws in my life. I think I'm going to have to go for a draw. You have a draw specialist. Yeah, I, but, you know, sometimes people um, neglect that a draw is a possible outcome. And when you look at some of these games this week, they're so closely contested. Yeah. I think there's bound to be a couple of draws. Um, I'm going to go for one here at 11-5 to five for the simple reason, 6-4, to 6-4. It's not going to return a grade a lot when you look at the contest. 